created it by hand from mighty mountains to the raging sea to every leaf on every single tree it's in the holy book just open up and take a look In the land of Israel, there was a prophet named Jonah. A prophet taught other people about God and his love. Jonah told his friends and neighbors that God loved all people. And like God, Jonah tried to love all people and all creatures. Fish looks fresh today, Ophir. Yes, Jonah, the freshest you will ever meet or eat. You know how much I love eating fish. And I'll take a bag of peanuts. I see someone just as hungry as I am. <laughs> hungry, little dove? Here, take some of mine. We're all God's creatures. Sounds like someone's having an argument. This is my pot. No, it is mine. I saw it first. No, I did. I need it to carry water. I need it to carry raisins. Stop. Fighting never solves anything. Besides, you're making me dizzy. My friends, please. God doesn't want you fighting. It upsets him. Now neither of you gets the pot. You were acting badly, just like someone from the city of Nineveh. Do you want God to think we act like the Ninevites? Ah, no. no! No, Jonah. Sorry, Jonah. The Ninevites are enemies of our people. I heard they stole a boat full of fish. Come on. Yes, they are thieves. Yes, they are very bad people. See what happens when you fight. From now on, we will act like Israelites and not be bad like the Ninevites. So Jonah had a very important job. He taught people about God's laws. There came a day when God had an even bigger job for Jonah. Hello, Jonah. God, it's nice to hear your voice. I have an important job for you. What is it? I will do anything for you. There are some people who are not obeying my laws, Jonah. Look what they're doing. The people of Nineveh steal. They are not kind to each other. The children of Nineveh do not take care of older people. Others are lazy. And their king pretends not to see the problems. He only cares about eating all day 
and wearing fancy clothes. Yes, the Ninevites are bad. Send a flood or an earthquake to punish them. No, they are bad because they don't know about me. No one has taught them my laws. Jonah, your job is to go to Nineveh and tell them about me. Me? Go to Nineveh? I can't. Please give me some other job. Tell them of my love. But they are the enemies of my friends and neighbors. You must go, Jonah, right now. In 40 days, I will punish them for being bad. But if you're going to punish them, why should I go tell them about you at all? I don't understand. The Ninevites should be punished for being bad. But what if I tell them all about God and they change? Then maybe God won't punish them. I can't do something to help my enemies. Jonah was so confused, he asked his friends what he should do. You know, it's funny, Jonah. Usually, we come to you with questions. This time, I want to know what you think. How can I preach to the enemies of the Israelites? Simple. You can't. Oh, fear is right, Jonah. Don't go there. Don't tell them about God. You do have a problem, Jonah. If you don't preach to them, you disobey God. If you do preach to them, you'll disappoint all your friends. Nobody said being a prophet was easy, Ophir. <sighs> Wait, I know. I'll just hide from God. <laughs> sure, but where can you hide from God? Why, in your store, of course. I know my plan will work, Ophir. If I hide here for 40 days, then God will punish the Ninevites and no one will be mad at me. You call this a hiding place? Here, let me help you. Uh, Ophir, you don't have to go to that much trouble. Look, if you're going to hide from God, you've got to do it right. There. <laughs> and my shop's never been cleaner. Ophir, do you have any flour for baking biscuits? Yes, yes, in that basket. There. No! Wait! No! No! Now that everything's cleaned up, goodbye, Ophir. What? But, Jonah, why are you leaving? I'm in the way, and I can't hide from God here in Israel. It's the first place he'd look for me. So where will you go? As far away from Nineveh as I can. I'll travel to the other side of the world, to a city called Tarshish. God will never find me there. We'll miss you, Jonah. Thank you. I have a very lonely trip ahead of me because God will not be with me. So Jonah traveled as far away as he could to run away from God. First, he walked across dry deserts. Then he climbed high mountains. He finally came to the town of Joppa and found a ship that was going to sail for Tarshish. Captain, my name is Jonah. Can I sail with you to Tarshish? Sorry, Jonah. This ship only carries sailors and cargo. Besides, it's bad luck to bring a stranger on board, you know. The sailors on this ship weren't Israelites. They believed in many different gods. 
Ahoy, mate. Help me with this statue. Sir, why not? <clears throat> what? Please, Captain, I must sail away with you. Why? Because I am running away from God. Why? Because he gave me a job to do and I won't do it. I must hide so he won't find me. Ah! <gasps> Did you see that? A dove! He flew right to Jonah! A dove is a sign of good luck, Captain. Very good luck. With Jonah on board, we will have safe passage. They're right. Welcome aboard, Jonah. So Jonah set sail across the vast sea, headed to faraway Tarshish. Jonah saw that the sailors didn't pray to God. They worshiped statues made of stone. Excuse me, what are you doing? Feeding the god of water. If he has a full stomach, he'll make the seas calm. But this isn't a god, <laughs> it's just a rock. My god is the real one. He created the sea, the sky, the animals, all of us, everything. One god created all that? <laughs> I don't think so, Jonah. See, this is the sun god, the god of the wind, the god of plenty. With so much in the world, you need a lot of gods. Yeah, no one god can rule over everything. <laughs> yes, God does. He is the one and only God. Well then, if he is so wonderful, why are you running away from him? He wants me to go to Nineveh and tell them about him. But they are the enemies of my people, and we'd be better off without them. I've never seen a storm like that. Me either. We're in trouble. Whoa! The sailors prayed to their gods, but the storm just grew stronger. Someone has brought our ship bad luck. Very bad luck. We must find out who it is. Let's throw lots. Then we'll know who brought this storm. The captain and his crew, being superstitious, believed that pieces of wood and bone would tell them who brought bad luck to their ship. bad luck. <gasps> it's Jonah. Where did you come from? And who are your people? I am an Israelite, and I worship the God of heaven. I'm running away from him. And he has found you. Jonah, what can we do? How do we make the storm go away? Throw me overboard. You must save yourselves. Please, Captain. We have no choice. We must throw Jonah into the sea. His god is more powerful than any of our gods. Jonah, I'm sorry. We've done everything we could do. I know, Captain. It's not your fault. I made God angry. It's me, not you, who should be punished. God of the Israelites, we're sorry for having to throw Jonah into the sea. 
Poor Jonah. May your God forgive you, Jonah. Jonah found himself in the whale's belly. Now he was really alone. God, I'm sorry for trying to hide from you. Do you hear me, God? Jonah prayed to God for three days and three nights. After that, Jonah was no longer alone. Hello, Jonah. Oh, God. I'm so glad that you're here with me. You, you tried, tried to hide, hide from, from me. Oh, yes. And I now know that was really, really wrong. Jonah, you have learned your lesson. Come on, let's get you out of here. Jonah, Nineveh is behind that hill. Hurry, go tell them about me and about my love. God, I'm ready to do it now. So Jonah went to Nineveh. And what he had to say was so wonderful. All of the people listened. They believed, and best of all, they changed. God says we shouldn't steal from each other. We are all brothers and sisters in this world. Would you steal from your own family? God says we shouldn't hurt anyone weaker than us. Since we are all God's children, we should protect each other. So 
Children, stop. God says we should honor our elders. Don't forget, they helped raise us and looked after us. Even the children were changed, and they gathered around Jonah, just like sheep around their shepherd. Hey, farmer, God says we all have jobs to do, and we should work hard. We should listen to him, since he's the one who gave this wonderful world to us. O oh, king of the Ninevites, this is no way to lead your people. God tells us to care for one another. Ha! Why should I care what your God thinks? Because he is going to punish everyone in this city for being bad. Nineveh will be like this grape. Please believe me, king of the Ninevites. I was sent by the one and the only God. You only have a few days. I do believe you, Jonah. Then know his love and obey his laws. That's all he wants. Jonah told the king all about God's laws. My people, people of Nineveh, hear me. For one week, all of us must fast. No one will eat anything for seven days, and all of us will wear rags. If we do this, we will show Jonah's God how sorry we are for acting so badly. After Jonah told the Ninevites about God and his laws, they changed their ways. Jonah then left the city. He sat on a hill above Nineveh to watch God punish them. Jonah, I'm proud of you. The Ninevites have changed their ways. But aren't you still going to punish them? I am not going to punish anyone, Jonah. But God, they are such bad people. Shouldn't they be punished? They have heard my voice through you, Jonah, and have changed their hearts. I love them as I love the Israelites, as I love all people. I was afraid of this. I saved the enemies of my people. Go home, Jonah. It will be okay. No, wait! Please, God, I am more confused than ever. Jonah didn't know what to do, where to go. He just started walking into the desert. Unfortunately, the desert was hot and he didn't have any food. I'm so tired. Hungry and thirsty. Thank you, God. Thank you for this plant and for saving me. The next morning, the plant was dead and Jonah was mad. He was mad because God let a worm destroy the plant. Jonah. Why are you angry? You let this wonderful plant die that gave me food and shelter, like you took away my hope yesterday when you didn't punish the Ninevites. You're mad because the plant is dead. You cared more about this small plant than the whole city of Nineveh, but you didn't do anything to keep it alive. So? How do you think I'd feel if I punished all the people of Nineveh? There are men, women, and children that I made and cared for over many years. They never knew or loved me until you came. Shouldn't I still care about them? Yes. Yes, you should. Go home and tell your friends about Nineveh and the plant. So Jonah went home. I can't wait to see my friends and eat all my favorite foods. Except for one food. <laughs> it's going to be a long time before I eat fish again. Jonah was accepted back by his friends, and he spent the rest of his life teaching about God's laws, and especially about God's love. <laughs>